Yo guys, just for everyone's free here for another video and it's time for another live reaction. Three live reactions in a row in my bedroom with the laptop and because it is on BT. It's because it's on BT. Why am I on BT so much? I haven't got BT, I can still watch games on the laptop but I'd rather just watch it in the own comfort of my chair in my uh, TV room where it's natural but hey ho, it is what it is. And um, yeah, we've got Everton away in the fifth round of the FA Cup so it's the latter stages of it. We're obviously having a crap season, but we are in the Europa League last 32. We're in the Carabao Cup final, and we are, obviously, as it stands, in the fifth round of the FA Cup. So we're doing quite well in the competitions. Um, whatever happens, happens. Am I confident? No. I'm going for a 1-0 Everton because I don't care if we beat West Brom. We were not very good anyway in that game, and we've been poor before that. And I just haven't got faith in our team. Everton look a lot better than us at the moment. But, of course, you never know. It's a cup game. We could show up and they might not show up. You never know. It's, 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 it's a cup game. There's no home games, even though we are away. It's There's no crowd, so you never know. Uh, but I'm not very confident, and I'm predicting 1-0 Everton. It's a prediction, isn't it? I've learned since the Fulham game that we, when, when we drew 1-0, I've learned not to be confident. And it, it's a shame I didn't actually film, because I was mad when they scored. But whatever. Um, let's just see if we can win. And um, I've got no dinner today, unfortunately, but um, I mean, I obviously do, but just not in front of me now. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's just get straight into the video. Can we... So, guys, um, Everton have no Pickford in goal and no um, James Rodriguez. So that's good for us, I suppose. We've got a very strong team, near enough a Premier League starting team, but Kane's on the bench. I understand that. It's a bit silly because we haven't got a proper striker playing, but I think... Jose has faith in the team with Son, Lamella, Lucas and uh, Bergwijn. It's a very good attacking team. Hoybier and Dombele, Toby Alderweireld, and Lloris. So we've got a good team. Um, but yeah, we've got Vinicius, Deli Ali on the bench, Kane on the bench if we need it. Um, so I am quite confident, but I'm not at the same time. So I don't know. Coin Spurs, run away. Get a win. And uh, who's that? Bergwijn out wide. He crosses it to Lamella. Oh, what a save and how's he missed? We could have been ahead under a minute. What a header from, what a cross from Bergwijn, I think. And it's a great header from Lamella, a cross goal. Olsen, the keeper, saves it, parries it wide. And I think um, Mora skies it. Lamella could have easily scored and Mora probably should have scored. How are we not winning? Yes, come on. What a lovely header from Sanchez. 1-0 up in four minutes. I mean, it was coming, but I didn't expect it. Come on. Good cross from Son, or from the corner. And Sanchez heads it. I did not expect this. Better from Spurs. Imagine if we did this in the league. We could have got a point or a win against Chelsea. We could have done better against Liverpool. And definitely could have beaten Brighton block. But they're, they're, they're playing better now, Everton. As you'd expect. It's about how we react. Oh, so a long range from Godfrey, very far, 40 yards that, and it's parried out by uh, Lloris. I mean, he should save it, but it's a good strike. Oh, someone's got the ball out wide, is it? Oh, my God, how did he miss that? All right, now we need to seriously wake up. Carver Lewin has the ball in the angle, he shoots first time. I don't know how it's not gone in. He might be disappointed with that. I don't know if Lloris saved onto the post, but it hits the post. Yeah, it just goes onto the post. That, I don't know how that's not gone in. Corner Miller. Docker T. Oh! Oh, what a save from this keeper again. Ball's crossed him from Docker T. It's a great fizzing low cross. And Son hits it first time. It's too fast to like see properly. But when it when it saved the keeper, you're wondering how it's not gone in. It was so fast. And it's just hit straight at the keeper, but it's still a great save because it's high. If you aim left or right, it's 2 0. Come on, you've got to take these sort of chances. Go the melee, he's got a lot of the ball. He shoots. Ah. Oh. So that curling shot quite far out, not causing a threat, but the keeper had to make a um, save, but he just caught it. Bottom left corner, but ugh, we're creating chances, but we need the second goal. Guys, I'm using a stream called He's Goals. Look it up, it's quite good. You can watch like any big games that are on TV, not just football, any sport, and it's pretty sick, but it's, it's very unreliable. It does lag a lot. Right now, you might have noticed it's a foreign person commentating. So I was listening to the Tottenham one, HD, and it was English commentary, the main BT Sport one. This is a different one, uh, and this is by some sort of commentary. Leave, leave me a comment if you recognise the language, but probably not. Um, that would be a bit of a coincidence. But yeah, it's some foreign guy commentating. Um, who cares? Look, 
I, I, I can still hear it, you can hear it, and my, my reaction is the main thing, so it is what it is. I'll try the other one maybe uh, at a later Myself. time. Oh my god, what a goal from Calvert Lewin. Are you serious? This is why you've got to kill the game off when we have chances. This is why you've got to get the second goal because this will happen. Calvert Lewin equalises it 1 1. It's a great goal. It wasn't bad defending, it wasn't bad goalkeeping. It was just a great strike on the angle from Calvert Lewin. Goes top corner. Loris does actually get a hand to it, but it's, it's a lot to ask from him. So Okay, it's a good goal from Calvert Lewin, but now I'm seeing the replay. Loris should have done better. He should have done better. Charles has a shot and makes it 2-1 to Everton. Wake up, Spurs. That defending is terrible. Yet again, terrible defending. The ball's bouncing around our area. We have, like, chances to clear it and we just don't do anything. We don't close them down enough. We give them all the space. Charleston has a shot just outside the box, I think. And, and he puts it low bottom left corner. Laurie hasn't got a chance for, for this one this time. And we're just letting them pass the ball around. We're not closing them down. We're giving them too much space. And it's a good finish from Charleston, of course, but he shouldn't have had the chance to shoot. It's a good goal, but he shouldn't have had the chance to shoot. It's not good enough. Penalty, isn't it? Penalty to Everton. Oh, I'm not watching this anymore. I'm not watching this anymore. I'm not watching this anymore. We were one nil up, and we were looking threatening to make it two nil. And we're since the thirtieth minute, we've looked shit. We've given away two goals, and now they've got a penalty in the forty-second minute. The game's over. We were controlling the first half, and now within ten minutes of the second half, the game is over, done and dusted. Takes it and scores so comfortably, rolls it bottom right. How do we do it? How do Spurs do this? How do we actually do this? This club actually finds a way to make us look shitter and shitter game after game. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. They just make us look even worse every single game. Sanchez, get off the pitch. He just made a terrible mistake. He literally just gave the ball to Richardson, and the one good thing came. Um, the one good thing Lloris has done is actually he came out and tackled Richardson. Oh, Lamella's in. Finish that, Lamella. Yes, come on, we're back in it. We're back in it. Oh my God, this is a crazy game. When we're 3-1 down, I'm like, all right, fuck this, game over. We're 3-2 down now. It's still, still not good. I'm embarrassed, but we're 3-2 down, which means we're one goal behind, which means we're still in the game, which means both teams are defending crap and we've got a chance. That means anything could happen in this game. I've seen this shit before. I've not actually filmed comebacks like this on live reactions, but if it could happen, that could be insane. Eric Lamella scoring a rare goal. Come on. Good play from Son and Lamella. And Lamella just dinks it over Olsen, the goalkeeper. So yeah, I might as well just carried on with that clip um, without stopping it. But yeah, because that was when the whistle literally just blew for half time. But yeah, 3-2. We're a meme, we're a terrible club. I don't know how we do this. It actually amazes me. It actually amazes me how, you know, Spurs seem to just find something so different every game to make us angry. It's crazy. Um, and I thought 3-1 game over. But now we've actually got a goal back to make it 3-2. And we've actually looked decent in attack. But it is still terrible. We are still losing 3-2. It's terrible. But we, at least I can say we're in the game. We are in the game. It's, we're only one goal behind. Can a crazy comeback happen? Probably not. We're not the sort to really do that. But you never, you never ever know. We're going to bring Kane on and maybe it looks like Ali's going to come on as well. One goal, we need to equalise it. 3 all. you never know. Um, and then who knows what's going to happen when it gets to 3 all? if it does happen anyway. Um, phew. All right, well, my mood's changed a little bit, but I'm still disappointed. Not good enough from Spurs. Let's just see what happens second half. Come on. All right, so I said earlier I'm not having my dinner, but dinner is back. I do have my dinner. I have some buttered crumpets and some uh, pasta. Um, yeah, so is, is, it, is it another mukbang? Not really, but yeah. Um, I had to leave for like five minutes. I don't think I missed anything. I might be wrong. I mean, it's still 3-2, so I haven't missed anything, but I could have missed the chance or two, so sorry about that. But I have noticed that Kane's come on quite early in the half, obviously. So that's quite decent. Oh, someone. Yes. Yes. Come on. Yes. Come on. What a game this is, lads. We're back in the game. Come on, lads. Who the fuck scored that own goal? I think it must have been an own goal. Header, header from Kane from the corner flipped on. And someone from Spurs kicks it in. Now, we want to win this game. We don't want to go to penalties. We, don't, we hate penalties. We don't want to go to penalties. We want to win this game now. What a game this is. Sanchez is celebrating it, but I think it was an own goal. I don't know what happened there. Oh, it's Sanchez with the second goal of the bloody game. 
Go on, look on him. Kane, finish it. Oh, he's been blocked. And again. Oh, chance there for Spurs. Kane. Richarlison's in. And scores. I cannot believe the defending. I cannot believe the defending today. What's the point of making a comeback? We get two goals, two, to make it 3-3, three, three, and then we're just going to concede like 10 minutes after. But what's the point, though? What's the point? What's the point of making it? We might as well just lose 4-1. Why are we getting two goals and then just throwing it away? We have momentum from this, surely. Another corner has scored two from corners this game. Finish! What a chance for Lamella. It's outside the box, but he slices it. And the ball goes just over. That was a weird sort of chance. Finish. What a block. It's a smashing shot from a Spurs player I can't see. And then it's cleared off the line. Yes! Come on! Oh, my God. Oh, I can't. I need can't, to open the window. I can't bear this game. It's 4-4. We're 83 minutes in. Good cross from a, a, a player. And Kane heads it in. This is nuts. But I can't get too excited because what we're going to do, we're going to go and concede. This is, like a, this is me on FIFA. This is me playing well on FIFA and then somehow losing still. But it's 4-4. Oh, my God. Oh, I've never had a live reaction like this before. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, I need to open this bloody window. Oh, my word. He's blown it. I, I sort of wanted him to blow it, but I sort of didn't because we are on the attack, but I don't trust us. 30 more minutes of this game. Are you mad? 30 minutes of this. Full time after 90 minutes. 4-4. Four, four. Come on, Spurs. It's meant to be for us. It's meant to be, surely. All right, the first half of extra time is about to get underway. I've never said this before on live reactions. Um, guys, smash a like. Subscribe if you're new, this is nuts. Kane, you're in! Shoot! Oh, I saved it! Oh my god. Ken was in on the angle. He probably should have scored, but then probably not because the angle was tight. That was a great chance for us to be 5 4 up. What a chance. Shoot. Oh, Charleston's in. Oh my god, we've scored again! Oh my god, are you serious? That's definitely game over now. Done. Definitely done now. I, I, I just can't believe how we're letting them go in on goal so easily. We have a good chance from Kane and then typical minute later, they go through and score. I mean, he looked offside, but how did he get him over like that? How he just dinked it over and Bernard scores. We've conceded five. All right, second half of extra time, 50 minutes to get a goal. Um, Whatever happens, happens. I can't be too defeated if we lose. We're still in two other cup competitions, but we're just not good enough at the moment. But one goal in 50 minutes, you never know. Let's see if we can get this done. Come on, Spurs. Oh, oh. come on. It's just despair now. Kane shot and it's blocked. And now Everton are going to wrap it up. They're on the counter attack. Sigerson's got the ball. And it's a good save, Lloris. Oh my god! I, I just can't sit back on this in this game. I just can't. I can't sit back in my chair. Legit, I just can't fucking do this. Crazy shit. Well, that's full time. Five four Everton. First of all, for the neutrals, um, and I personally enjoyed it. What a great game that was. Sometimes you just have to say we've lost, but that was an outstanding game of football. Um, of course, Everton weren't defending very well, but obviously they played well, good enough to win. We also defended like absolute wankers, but we also did well on attack. So if that's a good sign to come, you know, we're actually scoring more goals now, then that's good. But it's another cup that we're out of. What a shame. Um, it's almost like we're just never going to win the cup in our life. Yes, we've got the Europa League still, but that's very much early days. Yes, we've got the Carabao Cup in the final, but I don't think we're going to beat City. That's the thing. So, um, look. Bad loss, very annoying that we're out of the FA Cup, but we've still got two other Cups and the Prem to think about. It's just not a nightmare. I did say we'd lose 1-0 and I was right in terms of the margin. Um, but yeah, look, 5-4, very annoying, but we just move on. Everton are a good team, remember. We can't, you know, ignore that they are a good fucking team. Um, but yeah, Spurs need to step up in defence massively because it's just not good enough. But look, Man City away, let's at least try and not get embarrassed at their place. Um, and then we've got Burnley in a couple of easier games and Wolfsburger in the Europa League. Um, let's just try and get top four. 
probably not, but at least try and get the Carabao Cup or Europa League. One of those things. One of those things, at least, please. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching this video. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and peace.